What's up, Rob? You're checking in with the Mass and Hartford County Division here. <laughs> Listen, I mean, John Means on the injured list. Uh, and, and again, the Orioles need him badly. Last time we played an All-Star game, he was in it. You saw him today. How is he looking? Right. I'm home now, but I was at Ripken Stadium a few minutes ago. And, Rob, he looked good. He threw the first two innings of that game for the Ironbirds. He rolled through the first inning against the Brooklyn Cyclones on a strikeout, a strikeout, and a flyout in his first inning. He threw 13 pitches, 10 for strikes. As I said, he rolled through the inning, 90 to 94 on the fastball, threw a curveball, 76, slider, 85. And I know those readings are right because uh, it was from a, a scout's gun. So some of the scouts over there watching uh, were nice enough to pass along some information. In the second inning, they got a pop to second. And then Luke Ritter, batting fifth for Brooklyn, hit a solo home run, just got over the wall in center. He had a really good battle with Means. He worked the count deep. He fouled off a couple pitches, and he got one he could hit, and he hit it out for his 10th home run of the year. Then Means got a two outs on two pitches, a line out to center, and a ground out to short. So he faced seven batters, got six out. 27 pitches, 20 strikes. He threw all his pitches, Rob. He felt good about all his pitches. I talked to John after his outing. He said his fastball command was not really locked in, but his secondaries were pretty good. And, I mean, for the first rehab start, uh, two innings. He threw more pitches in the bullpen after Rob to kind of build up to around 50 pitches total today in Aberdeen. Well, you tell me how many pitches he threw. I guess my next question to you is did he use all of his pitches? He used them all. He was throwing the fastball, curve, slider, and changeup. He got swings and misses, I think, on three of those four. He got like seven or eight swings and misses, Rob. So, I mean, it was a sharp outing for John Means today. I mean, I've been to a lot of these major league rehab outings over the years, and sometimes a pitcher goes three innings, gives up four runs, and says that he felt good, and that was what was important. But today, John Means got pretty good results, say, for one pitch. And he felt good. That was the most important thing of all. He used all his pitches. He felt good. He had a big smile on his face after his outing. As I said, he threw more in the bullpen. And, Rob, uh, this is the first of a couple rehab outings, which should get him back to the Orioles before too long. Okay, and that's what Orioles fans are waiting for. What is that schedule? Do you know that schedule, Steve? Yep, John passed it on. He said his next uh, rehab outing is going to be at uh, Bowie probably around five days, give or take. And then he'll have one after Bowie in Norfolk. So he'll move up from high A, double A, triple A, one at each level, total three rehab outings. That should get him to Baltimore, Rob, sometime out of the all-star break. He didn't have a specific date that has been circled on the calendar yet. He said that's still being formulated. He doesn't know if it'll be the first game out of the break or the third, fourth, whatever. But it shouldn't be long when the second half starts that the Orioles get their ace pitcher back. Did you get the impression, Steve, that he was anxious to get back? I mean, we know the Orioles' record is not the best, but we also know these guys love playing baseball. Did you get the impression that he was kind of anxious to get back? I get the feeling he misses his teammates, Rob. I said, you know, what's it been like being away from the team? And remember, he was in Sarasota, Florida for most of this rehabbing. And he said, I was just going crazy in Florida. You know, it's a great weather there. He loves the facility, loves, every, you know, the guys who were there. But he misses his teammates. Right. Uh, you know, it's a helpless feeling, I think, for a player who's out injured. There's nothing you can do. You can't rush it. You got to, you know, with your pitcher, you just got to build up. So three, you know, two innings today, 50 pitches counting bullpen. I'll bet you by the time that third outing's over, he's up to 75, 80, 85 pitches. That'll have him lined up to come back and be just about a full go for the Orioles. And we know the Orioles have been struggling to get starter innings. They will welcome him back with very open arms. Now, Steve, the uh, Futures team has been announced, was announced last week. That's played over the All-Star uh, break. Now, two Orioles have made it. You know, Adley Rushman and also Marco Diplin. Mar uh, Marcos Diplin, he's made it as well. Uh, we know a lot about Adley. Tell us a little bit about Marcos. Well, he's had a good year in relief for um, AAA Norfolk, Rob. And, you know, I'm not sure how... The team was picked, and I'm not knocking DeBlon at all. Like I said, he's pitching to a two-something ERA, so he's he's uh, having a good year and, and deserves some recognition. Uh, you know, Grayson, he's been there before. Maybe that's why they didn't take him back. Obviously, he's, he's the best pitching prospect in baseball, having a good year. The Orioles have a whole bevy of pitching prospects that could have been picked, or Gunnar Henderson. So uh, a lot of deserving guys, and they got – 
Adley, the number one catching prospect in baseball, and DePlon, who's had a really good year out of the Norfolk bullpen. They'll represent the Orioles in the All-Star Futures game. And what, what does the, the honor like this mean for these young men? I mean, Adley has got, had a lot of honors, like Diplin, you said. You know, there's a lot of guys around him that get a lot more notoriety. But what does it mean for a young player to be able to play on this stage? It's a great showcase. Uh, I almost wish Major League Baseball would break it away from other games. Like, it'll start at 3 o'clock a week from today, so it'll be up against other games. You know, I kind of wish it was a standalone event. If, you know, in a perfect world, if they said, Steve, how what would you do with this game? You know, I'd put it in prime time or something uh, like the All-Star game, where it's the only game in town, and let these prospects really get, sh really shine and get exposure. But, I mean, Rob, over the years, some of the biggest names in Oriole prospects uh, have been in this game just two years ago. Both D.L. Hall and Grayson Rodriguez pitched in the Futures game. They both threw scoreless outings. Ryan Mountcastle played in the Futures game in Nats Park. I was there watching that. Uh, Alexander Wells pitched that day as well. So this has been a showcase over the years for some top Oriole prospects. Now, Steve, we've seen 11 major leaguers make their de – 11 players make their major league debut this year. Can we expect more from the Orioles? I would think so. I mean, uh, you got to figure at some point, Yusniel Diaz is going to lock it in with his bat at AAA, and the Orioles are going to want to take a look. I mean, there's a long way to go in this season, Rob, so because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't. You know, some young pitchers at AAA, uh, Kyle Bradish, Kevin Smith pitched well last night for Norfolk. Uh, we haven't seen them yet. We briefly saw Alexander Wells, and it was pretty good for his first uh, couple outings that he could return. Um, so, you know, that, that that churning of the roster with pitching, man, it's never ending. So if you're pitching well at the higher level of the farm, you might get a shot in Birdland before too long. I'm glad you said that because that's I was going to ask you my next question. I, I suspect and expect for there to be more pitchers with an opportunity to come up than position players. Like, you know, some of these guys we heard about who play in the field. I don't expect them to be coming up this year too soon. Well, you know, Jemai Jones is one that could. I mean, as far as Major League debuts. His... Major League debuts, I mean. Right, exactly. And, and you're right. Jones has debuted. He played a few games for the Angels last year, so he's ready for his Oriole debut at some point. And he might have a shot to make it up. And Diaz, but you're right, Rob, especially with a young prospect that's a position player, you want him to play. So if you're ready to bring him to the major leagues, you don't want him to play once a week. I mean, why Why not? I do that? Just keep him in the minors where he can keep getting the reps. So that is always the question when you bring a young position player prospect. Do you have playing time for him? And if you don't have an abundance of that, sometimes they're better served just staying on the farm for the time being. No one covers minor league baseball for the Orioles like Steve Molesky. You can check him out, massinsports.com. Steve, happy 4th of July. Do some grilling or something, man. Flip some burgers. And man, I was, somebody should have bought me a burger and I already Crabs or something, man. Thanks a lot, Steve.